Okay guys, uh, slow day on the line today. We didn't have anything to skin. Um, so we putzed around the fur shed, getting ready for season's upcoming. Um, it was super cold today in Wisconsin. It was, I don't know, like the high was 31 or something like that. Uh, it's not going to be above freezing for like an entire week. So freeze up's here. Uh, with freeze up, you kind of got to change your tactics. Uh, for rats, we're going to be doing under ice sets. Uh, for a lot of stuff, it's going to change a lot of the way you go about it. So, uh, just a couple quick tips. If you have access to any of these old uh, shopper stopper, these little uh, little plastic boxes you always see around everybody's mailboxes. Most of the time I get them, I'll just go up and say, hey, I see that box, you know, is never used. Do you mind if I have it? And they don't mind. And these make awesome mink boxes, or they're going to. Um, you get one single, you get one walk-through uh, double, and I've got them cut out, notched on both sides. We're going to be using 120s. I just got a 110 here because I don't feel like digging through my truck right now, but... Uh, put your bait in the center and then lays in there just perfect. You can stabilize it with the springs. Uh, they're quick, they're really light, they're a lot lighter than the wooden boxes you see everybody making. Uh, and they're a lot easier to carry when you're trying to wade through a frozen creek. The other tip is going to be uh, for board sets, for rats, you know, um, it's tough goings, it's slow trapping, but you can catch rats, especially if you get an early freeze up like this. Um, rather than using a whole board, you know, a 2x6 or whatever, if you just take this lath, I rip these on my uh, table saw, and just a real thin piece of paneling might only last a couple years, but it's worth it for how light it is. I just cut them uh, six inches wide, six, six and a half, and nine inches tall, and uh, put two screws in. Make sure you can see it from the back side going up through, and then uh, just take. I'm going to be using one and a half longs because that's what I've got the most of. Just set the trap. Uh, and if you rip these with a 2x4, the ring on a 1.5 will slide right over the top. You just canter your spring off to one side. Hang that trap right on what's left of the screw hanging out. And you're done. Uh, wire a baby carrot or whatever you want to up above the trap. And that's it. Uh, I put two screws in just in case if you get into a situation where this is going to be way too deep, you can just take this off and you can use the opposite screw and send it in from the other direction. Just a couple little things I do. Maybe it'll help you on your line. Maybe it won't even work, who knows, but I figure it's worth a shot. Uh, okay, everybody take it easy.